My name is Captain Liz Scott, and I'm the Division Commander of the Criminal Investigations Division at the Spotsylvania Sheriff's Office, which is responsible for investigating some of the most serious crimes in the county, and youth violence is certainly one of them. These days, students have more to worry about than getting good grades or fitting in with their pair, peers. The sad truth is that crime and violence have become a common occurrence in schools today. In some cases, schools have even become a place of death. It's no surprise that the United States leads the number of school shootings in the world. The late Queen Elizabeth II once said, but it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps, that bring about the most lasting change. I am not here today advocating for either side of gun control. I am not here today advocating for either side of a political party. I'm here today advocating for the safety of our youth. I'm here today to speak to the adults and remind them that we are responsible for these kids. We need to be present in their lives. And I'm not just talking about the parents. I'm talking about the educators, the coaches, the religious leaders, and those in public safety. We as adults have got to set the example of how we want our children to react to conflict. We need to lead by example. We all need to take some responsibility for the increase in teen violence. We need to be the influencers today. It's the youth that aren't here that need us the most. It's the youth that don't try out for extracurricular activities because they don't have transportation to and from. It's the youth who don't have positive adult role models in their lives that need us the most. It's the youth that have had a poor interaction with law enforcement that need us the most. Our teens are dying at a staggering rate at the hands of one another. These are statistics that we see and hear daily in the news. We need to ask ourselves what we can do differently to change this trend. I have certainly asked myself the same question. What could I have done differently over my 25 years in law enforcement? Could I have spent a little more time with that troubled kid who was acting out? Was I too quick to clear a call because I knew five more were pending for me? We need to continue having events such as this to remind the community what is truly important. Division gets communities nowhere. I will leave you today with this quote. Gandhi once said, we may never be strong enough to be entirely nonviolent in thought, word, and deed, but we must keep nonviolence as a goal and make progress towards it. Thank you.